Hello everyone and welcome to another installment of the Coin Dictionary. I'm Wu Hu and today I've got for you this five Bolivares coin from 1989 from Venezuela. We'll go over the history, the value, the basics, and any other pertinent information about this coin. So let's get started. On the obverse, we see the coat of arms of Venezuela with the uh, name of the issuing entity across the top, República de Venezuela, or the Republic of Venezuela. Uh, 1989, the, the date of mintage right here, as well as the denomination Cinco, or five, Bolívares, uh, the, the currency of Venezuela at the time. And uh, that's about all we see right here. So if we turn this over to the other side, a very simple portrait. This is actually the reverse. Kind of a strange instance to have a portrait be the reverse, but there we are. Uh, this is a portrait of Simón Bolívar, uh, who was the liberator or libertador of Venezuela, as you can see right there. We also see the name Bar uh, down here, the, uh, who engraved this entire coin. Uh, this is a nickel-clad steel coin. It weighs 13 and a half grams, 30 millimeters in diameter, 2.75 millimeters thick with a reeded edge. So it's a relatively large coin. They were produced between 1989 and 1990 at the Royal Canadian Mint in Winnipeg, as well as the uh, there's a mint in Dusseldorf in Germany that also produced these coins. Uh, 1989 has a mintage of 55 million uh, from the Royal Canadian Mint as well as 100 million from the uh, Dusseldorf Mint I mentioned a little while ago. And 26 million were minted by the Royal Canadian Mint in proof quality. Now there are some ways to tell how which uh, you know which mint produced which coin. There aren't any explicit mint marks, uh, but the the key lies in this ribbon over here. The motto in this particular example is in cues, which means the letters are actually sunken in. Uh, those were minted in the Dusseldorf Mint, while the raised lettering. Uh, in this ribbon, which would be the opposite of this, uh, was produced at the Royal Canadian Mint. So take a, take a close look at that ribbon of this coin to see which variety you have. This is the more common variety with 100 million minted, as I mentioned a little while ago. Uh, should be noted that Venezuela has had a, well, chaotic currency history over the certainly the last couple of decades, uh, to, be, to put it mildly. Uh, this is the original Bolivar, which originally circulated between, let me see if I've got my dates right here, 1879 to 2007, which was at which point it was replaced by the Bolivar Fuerte or the hard Bolivar in 2008 due to hyperinflation. That in turn was replaced by the Bolivar Soberano or the sovereign Bolivar in 2018. So it stands to reason that this coin really has no face value left at all. In fact, it was demonetized at the end of 2011 due to runaway hyperinflation. Uh, you might be able to get some value out of this on the secondary market. I see some eBay listings selling this coin for anywhere between a uh, 50 cents to about a dollar 50. Uh, that, of course, is highly dependent on condition um, or just depending on how the seller decided to price the coin really is what it amounts to. Not that there's any uh, precious metal content in this coin, so you're not going to get any premium that way, but it's an interesting uh, window into Venezuelan currency and an inexpensive way to get into that field of world coin collecting. Anyway, hope that cleared up some information on this coin, and I'll see you next time when I've got another coin to talk about. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching the video. My name's Christian, and I own The Coin Dictionary, and I'd also encourage you to visit us at our website, thecoindictionary.com, and on Instagram at thecoindictionary. And I'd also like to draw your attention to some other helpful coin resources, such as my other YouTube channel, Treasure Town, which does more in-depth videos about coins and collectibles, as well as some resources like coinmeltprice.com, which shows up-to-date precious metals pricing, as well as the melt values of the coins that you own, coinsmetalscards.com, which will both be a marketplace and a news source for coins, metals, and cards, as the name suggests, as well as whatsthegrade.com, which will develop into a stickering service for already graded collectibles. Have a great day, and I hope to see you on some of our other videos.